Like I said, your uh, reason is extremely valid. So we'll, with our big hearts, we will let you go there. Uh, Sunny sir, please. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, again, cut copy paste. Uh, but uh, you guys are just amazing, and uh, it's my first time in Hyderabad. Uh, beautiful city, airport city. Jab aaya tab main dekh raha tha city ko and it's just amazing. I think I will come here again uh, just to visit it once. Vaki, uh, thank you so much for giving us so much love and uh, yeah. So first visit, but I've been here multiple number of times. I've shot for 12 or 14 of my films here in Hyderabad, and uh, it's always been a pleasure to be here in Hyderabad. In fact, I love this city. At one point of time, I thought I'll buy a house here. And settled here and probably shuttle from here to Bombay and here to Chennai. In fact, um, I even started seeing places out here, and, and I was even allotted a land for studio out here because I shot my 12, 13, 14 films on on the go. You know, in fact, simultaneously, two, three films were always on flow, and all were being shot here in Hyderabad. So for you and. Uh, with the association that you have with Hyderabad, of course, of course, one more thing which we must not forget. My wife made a mark out here in the film film industry and that gives us a lot of uh, hope that my daughter will get the same kind of love what my wife got. And I hope the film, my daughter and the other actors of the film get the same amount of love what her films got in the past. We are here to Make sure that the connect is still there. First it was my wife C, now it is my daughter Shani. And I hope you all give her the same love and affection what you gave my wife. We will sir, most definitely we will. And yes, uh, Jani, coming to the film Mili, all of us are trying to know your reason for picking the film, picking this uh, subject because considering the number of films that you will be offered, the, what you pick will be the most important. So what was your reason to do Mili? I think it's a very beautiful, simple story and I think more than anything, there were two deciding factors. First, of course, was the fact that it gave me an opportunity to really push myself as an actor. The setup was very new and uh, the scope of the role was very intimidating, so it felt like a challenge. And uh, secondly, when Papa told me about the film, I still remember he called me up from a flight because he had seen it on a flight. And he called me up in tears because he was so moved by the film and he kept telling me the father and the daughter in this film is like me and you, it's exactly like me and you. So it felt like a very special film for my first collaboration with my father. And uh, last but not the least, when I met Matakuti Xavier, who is the director of this film, I honestly feel like he's a very, very, very gifted filmmaker. And I think I'm extremely lucky to have gotten the chance to work with him. Wow, and Sunny sir, your your reason to do to be part of Billy? He wanted to work with me. Yeah, that that that's my first reason uh, to work with Janvi. And the second and very important reason would be uh, even I watched the original film Helen, and I absolutely fell in love with the film. Oni sir called me actually that uh, beta is a crazy film and just watch the film and we are remaking it in Hindi. Uh, and you know, I just want to be part of beautiful story. And one really beautiful thing about Nidhi is that, yes, it's a survival film, but also it talks about relationships uh, in, in a way which I haven't seen before, you know. Uh, so that was very important to me and uh, getting to collaborate with Pony, so I've been wanting to work with him since a very long time. He doesn't know this, but I'm telling him now. <laughs> so I think it was a great opportunity working with Janji, Manoj sir and obviously Mata Kuti sir was directing it 
Um, so yeah, everything fell into place and here I am. Like I said, we all loved you guys in the song when we saw great chemistry, great performances. However, uh, Janvi, you have to tell us about the process because from 2 degrees to minus 18 degrees is way too much and we've been hearing a lot of things that the process that, that you have undergone. Can you please tell us more on that? So, Marcus was very clear that uh, he wants to make sure that the environment is as real as possible because he thought that that would help the performance and that's how he made the original film as well. So, they had built a freezer for me, a cold storage room that was at about minus 15 to minus 18 degrees at all times and uh, we shot in it, we were supposed to shoot for 9 days, we ended up shooting for around 21 days in the cold storage room. 22 days. 22 days. <laughs> And uh, it was very difficult, it was very cold, it was suffocating and it was honestly quite depressing. But those were all of the things that I had to feel as the character, so I think it helped, hopefully. That's all right. That's for sure, your emotions that we in the movie, all the objects trailer and the photo. So I just started a movie trailer, all of them, including acting in the trailer, what we did here. Thank you. It's such a person here, or Papa, we did you are, and you know, Papa, I am like, a radio jockey as well. When I had my Papa's interview, liya tha, I was very emotionally touched. So, Papa, producer, and you are in the actor's role. So, tell me, love is very good at home. On set, pe, Papa was a strict producer, the, ya, phir, pe bhi special, uh, you know, or was a little bit more special? You know, Sunny had a little bit more special, you had a little bit more special. What was the scene of Papa's role as producer? No, it's not like that. You will listen to your father's story. He is a very good producer. Hai. Um, so, in this film, I had the first hand experience of how much he is. On the set, I think he was only two or three times at lunch or dinner break. I had to eat my lunch. And I think Masuri... Yes, two or three times. In Bombay, in Masuri, three times. In Masuri, three times. In Masuri, one time, I and Sunny, I think, Uno was the so he just came to game check and said that Sunny, please don't cheat for me to my daughter. So he just came to game check and ate food for eating. Other than that, I think, like I said, he is a very good producer. He is a very creatively invested producer. He is a very good director and creative freedom and support of his actors. I think it's unparalleled. Wow, Janvi, we love you and we love all three of you. I'm so sure. So for you, you are playing the love and of course there is a beautiful father-daughter relationship as well. But for you, which is the USP which you think, leave this movie, we don't want to date. And the best part is coming on ODD as well. So it's later, it's actually a theatrical show. Yes, it's coming in theatre. Much later it will come on ODD. Whenever it does. But uh, I think the most beautiful part about the film, uh, if you see, is Gandhi. Oh, oh wow. you have just bar half thing you bully. Yeah, just bar half thing you bully. Only in theaters, pe aake dekhe. Only in theaters, 4th yeah. November. But <laughs> 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 Sunny Ji, my koi tari tari ah, kar tari kar tari <laughs> So uh, yeah, I think the best part about the film is uh, out and out Gandhi uh, and the portions of the freezer, the way she's performed. And uh, her and Manoj sir's uh, relationship with the film is uh, just beautiful. Like yeah, after the trailer, dad told me this, that if my daughter is like that, she will also be like that. And I was like, this is so sweet. If you want, I can be like that. But <laughs> so I think it's Zandi. So guys, we are going to reach the chart for sure. And all the best for the entire star cast. I don't know, 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 Hi. So, how much did you get from Papa? You want to know the number? I paid her more than what she got in her last few films. Yeah, she uh, was very generous to the point where I got stressed out. But it was very generous of him. But was I was it was I worth the money that you put in Papa? Yeah, I feel I underpaid you after watching it. Oh. Because the kind of struggle she's gone through doing this film, you know, becoming the part of, uh, I mean, she's not played the role, she's become the part. 
and shooting in that freezer was next to impossible. She fell, I mean, she was unwell for a couple of days, twice in between. My director was unwell for almost a week. He had just recovered from COVID, so his immunity was low. And yet he insisted on being in the freezer because the doctor told him, see, you can watch the monitor which can be outside the freezer. But he said, no, when my actor is in the freezer, I want to feel the same. With his monkey cap and sweaters and jacket, he was there in the, uh, just after seven days of, I mean, I don't think he had fully recovered, but still his enthusiasm to be there to make sure that the shooting wraps up soon and his concern for producer's money, which was really touching. He got back to the shoot and got back as intensely as he was shooting really before he fell in. That's what I told you. I mean, the freezer part, the freezer part I was think, very difficult. Yeah, I think what I meant, I don't think I said mental health issues. I think that's a very uh, um, strong statement, a heavy thing to say, and I don't think anyone should. Uh, use it as a statement lightly. What I said was that it was very heavy on me mentally and uh, very taxing mentally. It was emotionally draining and physically very draining is what I meant. So yeah, I mean, every day to wake up and spend 15 hours in a in a freezer, in a cold storage compartment, which is suffocating and cold, and to perform scenes where you're in a life and death situation, it does take a toll on you mentally a little bit. But that's a part of the job and I'm very thankful I got to have that experience because I I feel like now I'm stronger. Uh, now I can take it for a holiday to Alaska. You know, I shot one of my films there and her mother used to freeze and she used to tell me it's so cold out here and so were the actors. They were wearing jackets. But I wasn't wearing any jacket. I was wearing my normal clothes because I prefer the hills, mountains and Alaska was great. And you also have natural insulation. <laughs> So see, I've said it many times and I'll say it again, it's who doesn't love Junior NTR sir? He is such an icon and such a legend and it would be a dream of mine to work with him. We are all hoping that it comes true sometime. Uh, the next question please. Yeah, hi. Hi, Janvi. So waiting, for, waiting for a big one. <laughs> You see, these are professional issues which cannot be discussed on public domain. So, well, there have been very, uh, quite a few, you know, uh, offers, but nothing really worked out seriously. But having said that, my keenness to work in the South has always been there. Um, the South audience has given my mother and my father so much love, and I am such a fan of their cinema. So, I... It's been a dream that I've had for very long to do a South film and I hope something works out soon. And your first question about how my journey has been so far, it's, uh, I mean, I'd like to think it's just the start. And I think for a lot of people, because COVID happened, it took away two years, it, it slowed down a lot of things and, um, and yeah, I'd like to think it's the start. One well, uh, you are waiting to launch here in South? Your See, I didn't launch her in Hindi. I was waiting to launch her in Hindi. So likewise, when she after she does three four films in South, then I will make a South film in Hindi. Ya pak jaye, seek jaye, samaj jaye. <coughs> South ka pura domain kaisa hai? Uske baad, I want to work with her when she is accustomed to doing South films. He's a smart businessman. He doesn't like taking risks. <laughs> now talking, talking, you know, answering one of the questions which she put up to her about her journey. She probably wouldn't. Or rather, wouldn't agree with whenever I start talking about it. She, you know, she doesn't want me to talk all what I talk about her journey. Yeah. The journey is, you see, she's done Dalak, she's done Gunjan, she's done Jerry, she's done uh, Ruhi, and, a, and a one segment of ghost stories. Now, if you put all those five films together, you know she's played different parts in all those five films. Well, one was a just a OTT. Uh, segment of Zoya Akhtar, Ghost Stories. The other four were feature films. And all the feature films have earned enough for the producers. They've been major earners for all the producers. And I hope the same thing continues for Mini too. I'm the fifth producer and I hope I make at least the same amount of money or maybe a little more, a lot more, but not less than what they've made. Uh, uh, what do you want to you know, who want to play 
So what is the point of this you know, kind of a role scheme to you? How do you look at this? If you could say it back. I mean, I think as an actor, uh, every film that I've chased or every film that I've accepted, I think I try to look more at the scope that it offers me as an actor and then um, and then consider vanity. In fact, I don't think vanity is a part of the conversation till, at all even. So it just so happens, I think it's a coincidence that the roles that I've been attracted to so far have been of very real girls and I think it would be distracting if in the freezer, I was wearing a chiffon sari and full hair and makeup. I think that would defeat the purpose. So I, I take pride in it. In fact, I find it exciting to become the character and be as real as possible. But I really do want to play the conventional, quintessential heroine soon as well in mainstream and cinema. She, she's got a fantastic comedy time like her mother. You know, she's actually been waiting for a good, good script to come her way where she can do all those comical things which her mother was so good at. Helen Dekhi, the first thought that came into my mind, I was like, my God, she actually survived. You know, uh, that was uh, my first thought because while I was watching the film, I remember thinking that this is not going to end well. Uh, and But the way Mathur sir brought the whole thing together uh, was just uh, beautiful. Hi, Janaji. Uh, what are you inspired by this movie? I think one of my biggest learnings uh, through the making of the film and also I think the moral of the film in some ways is that your mind and body can take a lot more than you think. And that you can give yourself credit, you can be very difficult and you can be very difficult. And I think I learned this because um, like I said before, shooting the portions in the freezer was so tough that I didn't think that I was capable of doing it and it was very taxing and the fact that we were able to do it, I realized that your mind and body can take a lot more than you think and I think in many ways that's also what um, what the film, one of the things that the film alludes to. I'm also acting with a hero. I'm acting with a hero. I think after Dharak, um, I think my aim or what was really exciting me as an actor was to take up a challenge and to push myself, I think, more than to prove to other people, I wanted to prove to myself that I could um, take up a challenge and hopefully emerge out of it. So every time I heard of a story or got an offer that felt scary or daunting, I made it a point to take it up. And I don't, as a person, like being pigeonholed or put in a box. And I felt like I was put in a box after Dharak and I was put in another box after Gunjan and I, I find it kind of exciting to... Um, go against what people expect of me and surprise them and surprise myself. Sorry. Soon, hopefully, you all also pray for me when my fingers are crossed. Hi. Hi, thank you. I don't know what I that's a googly big after. Uh, one thing that Janvi is good at and one thing that she is not. Right? Okay, one thing uh, that she is uh, good at is uh, her energies on the set are just fantastic. I think it just holds the whole set together uh, and she's very easy uh, and obviously she's a fantastic uh, actor. So those are three good things about her. Uh, and oh, one, yeah, the toughest one, one good thing that, one thing that is not good about, uh, no, that, I'm being honest, it's just what I have to do. 
you want to know one good thing that is one one not good thing man generally don't have one i I was coming and you were ready to leave. Yeah, she was not punctual. She got late two times. No, genuinely, I didn't see anything like that where she's not good at something. Uh, at least how much ever we have interacted. Uh, and I, I hope uh, that it doesn't break, you know, that thing. So. What is the learning path for all these things? Me? Yeah, uh, my I think the greatest learning from the movie was uh, the fact that we shouldn't take our relationships very uh, for uh, granted. Uh, you know, and that's a, that's a very big arc in the film as well, um, because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So you should not keep your ego uh, in front and just let things be easy and with all the love. So that that was my learning with the film. Oh, uh, good thing I think. that i just think he has a very calming energy um like automatically when i'm around him i feel like oh ha huh, life mein sab acha hi hai um and i think he's extremely passionate about his work and very consumed by it and he has a very purest approach to his work and he is one of the very few people i've met in the industry who's not caught up in the noise and is actually just genuinely passionate about the art form which i respect a lot um one not so good thing i mean it's it doesn't really bother anyone else but i think for his own good he should uh, I, like i he should start sleeping for longer hours he doesn't sleep very much yeah much. that's uh, that's one of my biggest problems in life mujhe neend nahi aati 4 baje se pehle hello jahan mein mere hi hi this is mahi and pasmosh love from hyderabad hi. and love from me as well And I have two questions actually. The first question: Have you ever felt uh, the like to carry legacy of Sri Devi Garu still? And second one: Why your most of your movies inclined to actor-related stories? Is that your decision or what is your decision? The, I have to go. Yeah, so to answer your first question, um, I think it would be stupid and insulting to feel the pressure. of uh, of my mom's legacy i'm so proud of it and uh, i'm so thankful and grateful for the love that she's gotten and through her i've gotten i can't ignore that and more than anything i feel like if people are expecting me to be close to or to even match up to the level of acting or the level of cinema that she gave people i'm being held to very high standards and that's what i'm aspiring towards I think it's impossible to reach there, but if those are the, if that's the benchmark that everyone's holding me to, then at least I'll come close. So really, I think it's motivating. I mean, in life as an actor, you get compared to people all the time. It's my, मेरी खुशकिस्मती है कि मैं मेरा दर्जा I think इस देश की सबसे बेहतरीन अभिनेत्री से हो रही है. I'm being compared to the best actors this country has ever seen. So I think I'm very lucky. and i should be motivated by it and not pressured by it and it's my mom's legacy i'll be proud of it first and everything else comes later and your second question i forgot oh story story choosing uh um i don't know so like i said i uh, was naturally gravitating towards stories that had a lot of scope for me to push myself and to challenge myself because that's what's exciting to me um i think i think people were expecting me to do certain kind of roles and certain kind of cinema and i have a lot of respect and love for all of that as well but i have higher expectations for myself and i know i have a lot to offer and i wanted to prove it to myself and to the audiences as well hi sir Um, so my director didn't want me to prepare at all. He said, "Milly, my character was not prepared when she got stuck in the cold storage unit. So even you don't be prepared at all. I just build the freezer and you just go in." And he actually had a very interesting way of shooting it. Every day we'd come on set. and he'd say okay this 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 is your activity for the day this is how milly is trying to survive today 
this is where the camera is going to be and then we just roll 15 15 minute long takes and i just go through the whole thing as if i'm actually trying to get out of it and the survival instinct in me was very it was all very visceral and real because in my head it was like the sooner i finish this activity the sooner i finish the next activity and the sooner i'll get out of the freezer because we were already over time in the freezer so the urgency was very real and um, so there was no real preparation as such i've seen bits and pieces of it yeah i mean I, i'm not aware of what i have or have not brought from there i think the process of making it has been similar um but i think mathu sir was very clear that he wanted as much of my natural energy as possible to be there in the film but i mean i have to say i think anna has done an amazing job and what she did with the role is so iconic and i hope people accept me the same way hello thank you this is uh, yeah uh, hi hello thank you hi hi tom tom podcast that's a very really cute thank you uh thanks for for talking to me oh yeah thank you I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? I heard something that I'm sure you didn't say. Yeah, I did. If money is not the motivator, oh, money is not. I heard if Madhuri is not the motivator, <laughs> like why would you say that? So, if money is not the motivator, what would motivate you to do better? For the next one, for the more. I always wanted to know that, and I could see both money and you would pick up quick. That has a story to start with, and then try to make it commercially viable. And you know, we so far successful doing that. So tell me, uh, what what is that one thing that people should look at while making their work? Be it in acting, uh, you know, in any any craft that they do. What would motivate you? What would push you to do what? I think in a creative field, at least, it should be uh, personal growth and. Um, and uh, the ability to move people and i think i think the opportunity to be honest or tell your truth because i think at the end of the day especially in an artistic field where you're putting out artwork whether it's music whether it's films whether it's a piece of dance or a painting i think i think you're telling your truth or your version of some kind of truth and uh, it's to educate audiences or people or to move them or to make them feel something and i think that's what one's agenda should be when they're picking a film as well if it's going to move them in any way if it's going to offer them any personal growth or if it's going to change not it maybe it doesn't have to be as big as changing an audience member's life but at least move them to feel something that they wouldn't have felt before I mean, what would push you to do what you do? If money is not a motivator, if money is not a motivator, then I mean, see, when I started, uh, I just wanted to entertain people, right? Uh, because I have been a movie buff, and I have watched a lot of films growing up, and I know how it feels when you watch something and you connect with something. You know, you forget who you are, you forget your worries, you forget everything outside the hall. and you're just there you want to be that person you want to be in that story and you want to experience it with all your heart and that's my main motivation is to tell good stories be a part of them and in turn entertain people uh and like like janvi said right just if even if they just come and you know just a little bit ke yaar ye sukoon tha so that that's enough you know uh, so if money is not a motivator then i think that's my personal uh, motivation and otherwise people have to find their own yaar everybody has their own personal metric uh, to what motivates them um, so yeah so the issue more of uh, the issue more targeted to do what uh, you like thanks a lot tom tom so right uh, yeah, thank yeah. you because the last question please sorry Father, so what ratio do you give the marks for Janvi's performance as a father and a producer? So, up, how many marks do you give Janvi? First of all, your name. As a father, I give her eleven out of ten, which is one more than the is. Hello. 
She's a dream of a daughter, and I'm proud of her. And every moment, I feel elated, proud whenever she decides to do something or does something. It need not be just on a professional front, even at home. Her choice of uh, friends, her choice of uh, doing things, sometimes her choice of even having the kind of food that she has. It amuses me, but at the same time, I feel good that she's open to have different cuisines. So, and I, as, a, as a producer, I am not just proud, I am overwhelmed with her choices and overwhelmed with the kind of work she's managed to put across. She's played all these parts given to her superbly. And I feel <coughs> somewhere she is bound to reach a position which could be, which could make her mother proud of her too, wherever she is watching me. Because she surely is watching her, blessing her like she is for the other children coming. Could she do? So, she is close to that. And I am sure she upstairs is watching and blessing her and happy with the progress she has made. And so, so do I. I feel in a short career, now it's been four years that she she came on screen for the first time, but there was a lull in between for a year and a half, two years. In these four years, she's done four films. This is the fifth film, and every film she's done a different part, which itself is a big accomplishment. And she's done these different parts with a lot of aplomb, a lot of finesse, a lot of, uh, and she's been appreciated. I mean, as a father, I may think that she's fantastic, but just not just me. It is the audience, the the critics, everybody has appreciated her in every film. In fact, they feel that she's growing with every film, which is what any father would want her, her children, I mean, his children, whether it's a boy or a girl. For me, I have Arjun also as an actor at home. Ranbi also is there. And now Kushi is coming up. I mean, what can give me more pride on all my four children in their fields, in their respective fields, are every moment giving me a thrill to look forward for future. And I'm sure I will finally see the glory of all my children achieving in whatever field they choose. Jani, then one. Jani, if you if you are given a chance to remake your mother's movie, what would be that? Which one? Oh, I think I've said this before and I think Papa said it before also. I don't think Anyone should remake any of her films. I don't think anyone would do justice to it or even come close to what she's done. So I don't think anyone should attempt it, especially not me. And she should be the last one attempting it too. Because it's impossible to match her, it's impossible. And then why should you get into an area where there is comparison? As it is, you see, when she came to Hindi films, she had done about 150, 200 films in South. And her journey in Hindi started in mid 80s, early 83 it started. So now from the first, second, third film, if you expect her to match up to her, it's very unfair. But at the same time, I'm sure somewhere deep in their hearts, everybody feels that she is, she is, you know, carving her own wish in the field of art, and the kind of work that she's done in the films she's done so far is commendable. And I'm sure, as I said earlier, her mother from up would be proud of her too. Sorry, is there any... Uh, thank you so much, sir.